Hello everybody, today's video is about how I got an A star in A-level chemistry and how you guys can too. Before starting A-level chemistry, I was so intimidated by it, I used Anki, right? I used Anki to make a skeleton of my course, put every topic out with a deck, and then I just saw how much I needed to know, so it wasn't as intimidating, and I didn't get as stressed. For each topic, I would make flashcards on it, I would watch YouTube videos on that topic, and I'd go through the CGP guide, and that really helped because it allowed me to take control of my studies and responsibility for it and actually be a step ahead of everyone else in my course. Me doing this and working early allowed me to actually have less stress and not worry about it as much and actually teach myself and learn how to teach myself. And then using that skill is so important to be able to teach yourself something and teach yourself how to learn. Doing the topics in class, I would actually pay more attention, ask better questions because then I could actually be more valuable in the lesson compared to what I was before where I was so confused. Oh, I didn't know what that was before or I have to do the art lesson because I don't have time right now and I don't want to seem stupid, all these stuff. But it doesn't matter because you know it now because you've watched videos beforehand, you've worked early. For each topic exam, I would do as many, as many bloody topic questions as possible as I could, find as many that are that relevant. And then when you've done so many topic questions, you can realise like, what is the stuff I actually need to memorize? Take the mark scheme word in, put it into your flashcards on Anki, and bold the stuff in mark scheme so you memorize that stuff. When you've done the topic quick tests, you'll get the test back, and then every time you do a test and you, the stuff you get wrong, make a flashcard about it, or edit a flashcard you already have on it. I would do it for every topic, and then when it came to my end of my exams, um, I'd been reviewing all the flashcards I'd been made, making daily. This would be going to my long term memory, and then it was so less stressful because I had all the questions, all the flashcards in this one place in Anki and it was just like a massive bank of questions that I had made myself. What happens when the flashcards you've made are actually automatic? Make like mind maps of organics to make it simpler. Try and make a mind map of how you get from one molecule to the other. Maybe just go for a walk and try and list out all the topics and then if you pick a topic, try and think, figure out what is actually in that topic, what type of questions will come up, what do I need to memorise and can you do that outside of having an actual question being thrown at you? And then can you teach other people about that topic? And maybe just teach yourself or just record yourself talking to a camera and try and teach the camera. My key cards in the description, they're the ones that help you get a three stars and I hope they can help you. But also try and get a CGP guide and all these other stuff. If I had these flashcards at the start of my A-levels, it would have saved me so much time. And yes, edit them, change them how you want. Hope it helps. Thank you very much.